Welcome back, everybody. Exciting news in the Pulse Chain world. Never a dull moment in Hex and Pulse Chain. We just got the buy and burn function announced to us via Richard Hart's Twitter. So I'm about to show you guys what the Pulse X buy and burn function is going to roughly look like when Pulse X goes live. Now, as a reminder, one of the awesome things about Pulse X, if you're new here, if you haven't heard yet, is that part of all the trading fees on the Pulse X platform are actually used to buy up part of the coin again and then burn it. So Pulse X is a trading platform, right? People are trading in and out all day long with every different coin possible. And every time you make a trade on Pulse X, there's a tiny 0.29% fee. And if you remember from one of my previous videos, definitely go rewatch it if you're not educated about this yet. But the trading fees on the platform are divvied up according to the following pie chart. So 75.9% of the trading fees goes to the liquidity providers themselves for taking the risk of providing liquidity. And 20.7% of the trading fees on Pulse X go to this buy and burn function right here, which is pretty awesome. We're gonna demo it really quick. It's super easy, super simple, and very intuitive. You literally have all these different liquidity pools down here, and these are just different trading pairs on the platform, right? And you can go ahead and pick any one of these or multiple at the same time. See, look, I can select multiple. We got this big shiny green button, which I love, and you can buy and burn using the public burn function, which is right in front of your face here. And every time you run this function, what happens, guys? It actually pushes the price of PulseX up a little bit and then burns some of the pulse X, which means takes it off the market. Literally, they, they go away. The coin supply dwindles down little by little. It's a deflationary token. So supply gets lower, price goes up because it's a buy and burn. So you're buying the price up. What do you think that does to the price, guys? Huge, huge pumps over time. So this is what we've all been waiting for. This is one of the most bullish things about the pulse X token. And it means that the price of PulseX is directly proportional to the activity of the trading volume going on on the PulseX.com platform. Now let's go over the data, let's say in this example really quick. So we've got this PulseX PLS liquidity pair that I have highlighted here. And we can see the USD value of doing this buy and burn would be 24 cents. Uh, the token zero amount means the token amount of PulseX. Token one amount means the token amount of Pulse. And these are the amounts of each of these respective tokens that were accumulated from trading fees. So there's been 79.8 Pulse X tokens accumulated in trading fees and then 126 PLS tokens accumulated in trading fees. And we can see that if we were to run this burn function, again, the selected USD value would be 24 cents like we saw down here. And we'd effectively be burning 254.7 Pulse X because there's 79 of this coin and 129 of this coin. So we'd be sending 254 tokens of Pulse X to go get burnt. Let's say we took the PRT PLS token, for example. Well, we've got 0 0.0096 PRTs. We've got 0 0.00037 PLS. So what that means is you take token zero, which is the PRT, you take token one, which is the PLS, you buy PLSX with PRT, then you also buy PLSX with PLS. Maybe let's get a less confusing example without so many letter P's in it. So the hex PLS pair, right? Well, you're utilizing the hex that was collected in trading fees then you're utilizing the, the PLS that was collected in trading fees. And step one, you're buying up the price of Pulse X using HEX. Step two, you're buying up the price of Pulse X using PLS. And then step three is what we'll talk about. We burn the tokens and then a little bit of that trading fee goes back into what's known as this LP amount. So what is this LP amount? Well, it's actually pretty simple math, guys. I took a screenshot because it keeps updating so fast and I have to keep refreshing the page. And I just want a stable screenshot in time. So this is a screenshot from a few minutes ago. Look right here at the pair that I have selected. It's the PRT PLS pair. So that's 82 cents worth of USD value of Pulse X that would be burnt, which would effectively burn 834 Pulse X tokens. Again, when we're using that PRT to buy up the Pulse X price and we're using that PLS to buy up the Pulse X price, this would be burning 834 tokens. But remember guys, every time you do a transaction on Pulse Chain, what happens? What happens is the fees on every trade, including the buy and burn function trade itself, gets divvied up proportionally. So, so when you do a buy and burn function, it acts as a trade, meaning out of that buy and burn function, actually 20.7% of that trading fee goes back into the buy and burn pool. It's self-referential, if that makes sense. So when you do the buy and burn function, you're, you're just running another trade. It's just you're making a purchase of PLSX. And out of those trading fees, 0.22 goes back to the LPs, 0 0.06 goes back to the Pulse X buy and burn function again. So kind of a beautiful self-referential system here, which means if you do the math, we could see that we've got 834.7 PLSX, right? 834.78. And how much of that goes back to buy and burn? 20.7%, otherwise known as 0.06% of the overall trading fee. 
So what's 834.78 times 0.207? That's 172. It's roughly 167. Now these numbers change so fast that I wasn't able to capture a perfect moment, but it's basically saying that the amount of the coins from the PulseX buy and burn that's going back into the liquidity providing amount is about 20% of what you just bought and burned. So pretty cool feature there. I was a little confused about this LP amount column for a while, but I figured it out. I think I figured it out. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. And let's just refresh the page one more time, just for good measure. This is live right now on the test net only. Again, not real coins. And let's pick a pool with an actual balance on it right now. Wow, people are running this function so much that we're, we're at zero for a lot of these pools. But all right, so I refresh the page. We got this PulseX Pulse in a pair right now. And before somebody else does it, I'm going to beat him to the punch. I'm going to run that buy and burn function and burn 48,000 PulseX tokens right there. Maybe we'll try that one more time. Okay, that one went through okay. There must have been some issue with the previous transaction. I just tried it one more time and we're back down to zero again on here. And I would have just pushed the price up of PulseX just the tiniest little bit. It's almost, it's hard to catch these because as we can see, people are buying and burning so much right now because it's a public function that it's hard to actually beat somebody to the punch here. So obviously it's brand new and a lot of people are using it. I'm just trying to get a quick video in. But there you have it guys, a public function where when you come to your favorite trading platform, anybody across the world, all hundreds of thousands of users that want to, can just go ahead and push the price up a tiny bit by selecting whatever liquidity pool they want and then using the funds received from the fees in that trading pool to buy up the price of the Pulse X and then take it off the market by burning it. Pretty innovative, pretty awesome and anybody can do it. You just go ahead and click this button. So you go to Pulse X and let's assume you're holding Pulse X. I don't know why you wouldn't want to. And uh, hey, guess what? You want to pump the price of your own token? Just click this big green button over here. Couldn't be easier. Select whatever pool you want that's actually got some tokens in it and use those tokens accumulated from trading fees to buy up your bag and take it off the market. Thanks guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. Leave a comment below and I'll see you on the next video.